fashionistas okay i am here right now and but i am here because i have a humongous cosmetics haul or uh, makeup haul and i'm gonna try to make it quick because i'm tired but at the same time i'm gonna try to give y'all some energy so i am going to start with um my main attractions and that would be my Ulta um trip or whatever I guess you should want whatever you want to say so finally it was just like forget it I really want this palette I've been wanting this palette for forever I think it came out in what like 2009 2010 so I finally got it and I'm super late obviously I know but whatever who cares so I got the Naked palette, and you guys already know how this looks, but I didn't stop there. I also got the Naked 2 palette, so I got both. And I didn't stop there. I also got some more things at Ulta. Um, I got something that I, this is something else that I have really, really been wanting for forever. And it is the Vera Wang Princess Perfume. You guys. I have been wanting this perfume for forever. Since like 2008, I think. I've been wanting this perfume. It's, when I say that this perfume is everything. Like this perfume is everything. Everything. This is me. This perfume, this scent is so me. It's just everything, God. It's just everything, y'all. It's everything. This perfume is everything to me. Everything. And like I, said, I, like I said, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just a very, very soft, feminine hint of sweet Um, Very light. Not... It's not strong at all. It's just, it's, it's amazing. So, yeah. Because of all the hoopla, I decided to go ahead and give this perfume a try as well. It is the Aqualina, Aqualina Pink Sugar Perfume. You guys already know how this looks as well. It's all over YouTube. So I decided to give this a try. And I just got the little one. Just to, you know, test it out. See if I like it. And because you guys already know I love sweet perfumes. That's why I'm in love with this perfume. That's why I was in love with this perfume from the beginning. But, um, yeah. So I got the pink sugar as well. The Aqualina pink sugar perfume. And I also, the... Glam Twins raved about this product, and so I really want to give it a try because, yeah, they absolutely raved about this. And it seemed, and looking at some of the swatches, it seemed like this was a really great product. So I also wanted to try the Lorac Tantalizing uh, Tantalizer Baked Bronzer. So I picked this up as well. And then last thing I got from Ulta is just this little, just to throw in my purse. Um, nail clipper and a nail file in this little thing here next up Target or Target I saw this brush in Target by Sonya Kashuk and I love the way it's shaped and I've been looking for a blush brush that's shaped this way from Target I also got um I needed an eyelash curler, so I just got the e.l.f. eyelash curler for a dollar because an eyelash curler is an eyelash curler. So, yeah, just picked this up for a buck and also got some brow razors or whatever, whatever, whatever you call them, brow trim and shape. Next up is Walgreens. Wet 
Wow products, the Fergie like edition, Fergie line or whatever. So I just mainly just focus on the lip products. And I got her lipsticks and I got about I got four of them. First one up is uh, what is this? Oh, VI Pink. Yeah, so here it is. So this is the this is her red lipstick. So yeah. That one is red. And it's Saragina, I guess. I'm just gonna say Saragina. So this is the this is her red lipstick. So yeah. That one is red. And it's Saragina, I guess. I'm just gonna say Saragina. Fusionista, and here's here it is. This kind of like really deep pink. But it's a nude, it's a nude lipstick. If you can tell, if you can see that. So yeah. Mauve out of here. And it's a pretty mauve color. I just really needed some more lipsticks and some more lip products. Um, and then so then, also from Walgreens, I picked up some of the Rimmel London Lip Lacquers. I think that's what they call Yeah. The Rimmel London Lip Lacquers. And it is Celestial, which is kind of a, a nudie pink, maybe, and maybe towards the mauve side, but it's really pretty. Nova. And this one is um, a little bit pinker, a little bit more pink. Um, so, yeah. But it's a soft pink. It's not really, really bold. And there it is. And then the last one I got um, is a red, a red one. And it is Big Bang. So there it is. Yeah, those are the only three that I was really kind of interested in. And that's it for Walgreens. Next up is Walmart. Now, let me just say this. When I went in Walmart, I really went there to pick up the... My main focus was to get the Kate line of the Rimmel London Kate line. The main lipstick that I really wanted to get that was not there the kiss of life lipstick in that perfect red freaking color perfect for my skin tone and it was not there number zero eight and it's a really pretty nudie with like a a very subtle pink undertone to it but it's gorgeous 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 nude color i think for my skin tone i think this is going to be a really nice nude lip so i'm super amped about this lipstick and i'll be even more geeked once i find the kiss of life lipstick Oh, that still just still bugs me just a little bit that I couldn't find it, but whatever. And then also I got some Milani lipsticks. Like I said, I, I really needed some lip products. I really needed some more lipsticks and just lip products in general. So I got a heap of Milani lipsticks. Now I'm going to go ahead and try to zoom through these. First up is Red Label. And I think this is going to be good for my skin tone because... Is deep enough I think but here it is in the tube it's a pretty pink and once again that is Rose Amour uh, the next one is teddy bear and um, I've heard good things about this lipstick this one also is a nude color all right next one up is flirty fuchsia Flirty Fuchsia. 
And there it is. Violet Vault. And I think this one is, this is a pretty, um, this is a pretty popular lipstick, I think. But here it is. This, this lipstick is the business, the business, gorgeous purple lipstick. Rose Hip. And it is another pretty pink. And this one is more like Barbie pink, I think. I don't know. I, I don't know. But it's a really pretty pink color. And there it is. Okay, and I also got some of their lip glosses. The Milani uh, Glitzy Glamour Glosses. Ladylike, which is a pretty nude color. If you can see that. And... I got another one in um, putting on the glitz, which is kind of a nude color as well. And then I did a repurchase of one that I I had, which I love, absolutely love this lip gloss, and it is in Fashion Diva. This is the part of the 3D glitzy glamour gloss. Um, and it's a pretty purple, like fuchsia, more towards the purple side lip gloss. If you can see that. So yeah. And then I really, really needed some mascara. Something serious. Seriously needed some more mascara. So, I picked up favorite, my all-time favorite mascara. So, here it is. And I got two of them. And then, um, I really needed some eyeliner. So, I got the Maybelline Unstoppable Eyeliner All Day Wear Smudge Proof and Waterproof in 701 Onyx. Just a little eyeliner pencil retractable I think and then I got a felt tip eyeliner for my um, my lid and this is the Milani ultra fine liquid eyeliner waterproof intense color um, uh, ultra fine felt tip point in black vinyl And then I just saw this lip gloss. This is a uh, Bonnebelle, right? I think that's how you say it. Bonnebelle. I think that's how everyone everyone says it. Bonnebelle lip gloss, um, lip lights, and this is in oh Mocha Mousse, and it's a pretty just nudie lip gloss. And I just like the color, so I just grabbed it. And it's just something to keep either in my car or in my purse. It's just a pretty nude lip gloss, so I picked it. And it was only like $2, I think. And then, last but not least, my bronzers. Because I, I really just wanted some more bronzers. So I picked up the Milani bronzers. And this one is in 05 Soleil. I love this bronzer. Another Milani bron baked bronzer in 04 Glow. But here it is. And both of these bronzers have gold, um, gold flecks in them or like gold veining. So yeah. And that is it for everything. Um, the reason why I did such a big makeup shopping haul, whatever, is because I just really needed some, I needed to go ahead and just, you know, kick up my game or 
step up my game in with my with my makeup because I mean honestly because like I said I was in school I, I, I you know I didn't have like the career that I wanted at the time because I was in school so I would just get you know just cheap makeup and um makeup you know that I got on clearance or whatever just you know because I was in school and just when you're in school you don't have that kind of money and now that I am I have a career now that I am establishing myself and um, really just becoming more of just a mature woman. I am just trying to upgrade. Just trying to, you know, just step up my game and really do the things that I have been working so hard to do and get to the place where I, that I've been working so hard to get to, basically. And so, yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and just step my game up and I think I've done that. I mean there's a there are a few things, a few more things that I want to get as far as makeup is concerned, but I think for the most part I'm pretty much okay. Um but there will definitely be more hauls because now that I've gotten makeup out of the way, it's time to go clothes shopping. Um please stay tuned because there's gonna be a very, very huge clothing haul that's going to be coming up actually there's probably going to be a few a lot of clothing hauls to come so make sure you stay tuned um sorry that it took so long for me to jump back on these videos sorry about the lighting if the lighting is off but i am going to try my best to make sure that i am um, making videos, uploading videos, and I think I'm in a better place to be making more videos um, um, consistently. Yeah, so I will be coming at you guys soon with another haul and just more things in general, more videos in general. So, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.